Hi, welcome to Beijing Minute with the top stories from around China. My name is Dominic James Maydar. This week, China launched its first aircraft engine manufacturer. China has formally established the China Aviation Engine Group. It is a state-owned company with a registered capital of 50 billion yuan, equivalent to 7.5 billion dollars, which will develop both military and commercial engines. It is a major step for completing China's chain of production in the field of aircraft manufacturing. In other news, China sends a record number of athletes to the Paralympic Games in Rio. A rally takes place in Beijing, ahead of Team China's departure for the 15th Paralympic Games, beginning on September the 7th. 308 athletes will make up the Paralympic team, the largest the country has ever sent overseas. Also, UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon praises China's efforts to make the upcoming G20 summit far more inclusive. China has invited six developing countries, namely Chad, Kazakhstan, Egypt, Laos, Senegal and Thailand, to attend the summit in Hangzhou on September the 4th and 5th. China's leadership steered the debate to facilitate the G20 uh, to move from a short-term uh, financial uh, uh, crisis management to a long-term development uh, uh, perspective. And this year's summit will be the first time that G20 leaders discuss both sustainable development goals and climate change. Reporters from Beijing Review are in Hangzhou now and will bring more on-the-scene stories about the summit. Please stay tuned.